Welcome back to Prepper's Paradigm. If you've seen our videos before, you'll know that we favor bugging in over bugging out in many scenarios, but sometimes bugging out is the only choice. So today, we're diving into the world of transportation options for bugging out. Essential knowledge for any Prepper's arsenal. From bicycles to RVs, we'll explore the pros and cons of each mode of transportation, helping you make informed decisions for your bug out strategy. If you enjoy this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. When it comes to bugging out, sometimes the simplest mode of transport is the most reliable, so let's take a look at bugging out on foot. First and foremost, traveling on foot grants you in parallel flexibility and agility. You can traverse diverse terrains with ease, from dense forests to steep mountains, without being limited by the constraints of roads or trails. Additionally, traveling on foot allows you to maintain a low profile and move quietly through both urban and wilderness environments, reducing the risk of detection by potential threats. It's also easy to change your route or hide quickly when necessary. When bugging out on foot, you don't have to rely on any infrastructure, such as fuel supplies, which may be unavailable in times of crisis. However, despite its numerous advantages, bugging out on foot comes with its own set of challenges. The most notable drawback is the limited speed and range of travel, which can make long-distance journeys time-consuming and physically demanding. Another drawback when bugging out on foot is that your resources are limited to the amount that you can carry comfortably. You can also be a potential target for an attack, as a relatively slow-moving traveler carrying tempting-looking supplies. So while bugging out on foot offers in parallel freedom and adaptability, it's essential to consider the trade-offs and prepare accordingly for the challenges that lie ahead. When considering modes of transportation for bugging out, the bicycle boasts several advantages that set it apart from other options. One of the primary benefits of using a bicycle is its speed and maneuverability particularly in congested urban areas where larger vehicles may struggle to navigate. The ability to weave through traffic and access narrow pathways makes the bicycle an ideal choice for swift and efficient travel. Furthermore, bicycles provide a cost-effective and low-resource means of travel, making them particularly appealing for long-distance journeys. Compared to motorized vehicles, bicycles require minimal maintenance and of course no fuel, reducing the overall logistical burden. Despite these advantages, it's important to acknowledge the limitations of relying solely on bicycles for bugging out. One significant drawback is their vulnerability to mechanical failures, which can occur unexpectedly and leave you stranded without proper repair tools or expertise. Although you may be able to carry a little more on a bicycle than on foot, the amount you can take with you is still limited. Therefore, while bicycles offer unparalleled speed and efficiency, it's crucial to weigh the benefits against the potential risks and prepare accordingly for any unforeseen circumstances that may arise along the journey. When it comes to bugging out, the car stands as a symbol of speed, convenience, and reliability. Let's explore its advantages and drawbacks. The primary advantage of using a car for bugging out is its unmatched speed and range, as well as its ability to carry multiple people and more resources. With the ability to cover vast distances in relatively short time frames, Cars offer expedited evacuation and access to distant locations that may be otherwise inaccessible by foot or bicycle. Furthermore, cars provide a level of comfort and protection from the elements that other modes of transportation may lack. In adverse weather conditions or hazardous environments, the enclosed space of a car offers shelter and security for you and your loved ones. However, it's essential to recognize the limitations of using a car for bugging out. One significant disadvantage is the reliance on fuel and infrastructure, which may become scarce or compromised during emergencies. Additionally, traffic congestion and roadblocks can impede progress and lead to delays in evacuation efforts. In conclusion, while cars offer unparalleled speed and comfort, it's essential to weigh the benefits against the potential risks and have contingency plans in place to ensure a safe and successful bug out journey. When it comes to navigating challenging terrain and rugged landscapes, the four-wheel drive vehicle emerges as a formidable option. Let's explore its advantages and potential drawbacks. The primary advantage of utilizing a four-wheel drive vehicle over a regular car is its unparalleled capability to conquer diverse terrains, including mud, snow, rocks, and steep inclines. With its robust construction and off-road capabilities, a four-wheel drive vehicle fitted with good tires offers access to remote locations that may be unreachable by other means of transport. Furthermore, four-wheel drive vehicles are often larger, providing ample space for carrying essential supplies, equipment, and provisions, making them ideal for extended journeys or evacuations. The spacious interior and cargo capacity allow for the transportation of bulky items, emergency gear, and provisions for extended periods of self-sufficiency. However, despite its many advantages, there are also potential drawbacks to consider when relying on a four-wheel drive vehicle for bugging out. 
including all of those associated with cars. One significant disadvantage is the high fuel consumption associated with off-road travel, which may limit the range and duration of your journey, particularly in remote areas with limited access to fuel sources. In conclusion, while a four-wheel drive vehicle offers unparalleled off-road capability and cargo capacity, it's essential to weigh the benefits against the potential challenges and prepare accordingly for a safe and successful bug-out journey. When speed and agility are paramount, the motorbike emerges as a top contender for bugging out. Let's explore its advantages and potential drawbacks. The primary advantage of utilizing a motorbike is its unmatched speed and maneuverability, particularly in urban environments where traffic congestion can hinder progress. With its compact size and agility, a motorbike offers the ability to navigate narrow streets and congested roads with ease, allowing for swift and efficient travel. Dirt bikes also offer the ability to traverse a huge variety of terrain, making it easy and quick to bug out through many different environments. However, despite its many advantages, there are also potential drawbacks to consider when relying on a motorbike for bugging out. One significant disadvantage is the limited storage capacity, which may restrict the amount of gear, supplies, and provisions you can carry. Additionally, motorbikes offer less protection from the elements and potential hazards compared to enclosed vehicles, leaving riders more vulnerable to accidents, environmental factors, and potential attacks. In conclusion, while a motorbike offers unparalleled speed and agility, it's essential to weigh the benefits against the potential challenges and prepare accordingly for a safe and successful bug-out journey. In times of crisis, the horse emerges as a timeless symbol of resilience and freedom. Let's explore its advantages and potential drawbacks for bugging out. The primary advantage of utilizing a horse for bugging out is its unparalleled versatility and adaptability to diverse terrains. With their powerful muscles and sure-footedness, horses can traverse rugged landscapes, dense forests, and steep inclines with ease, offering access to remote areas that may be inaccessible by other means of transport. Also, a horse doesn't rely on technology or the infrastructure and fuel supply that you need with motorized transport, requiring food, water, and care instead. However, despite its many advantages, there are also potential drawbacks to consider when relying on horseback travel for bugging out. One significant disadvantage is the reliance on the horse's health and well-being, which can be affected by factors such as fatigue, injury, and stress. Additionally, horses require adequate food, water, and rest, which may be challenging to provide in a crisis situation. And of course, there is the significant cost in both money as well as time and effort to keep a horse. In conclusion, while horseback travel offers unparalleled versatility and connection with nature, there are also drawbacks that might mean it's not always the right choice. For those seeking a home on wheels during times of crisis, the RV emerges as a versatile option. Let's explore its advantages and potential drawbacks for bugging out. The primary advantage of utilizing an RV for bugging out is its self-contained nature and ability to provide shelter, comfort, and amenities on the go. With its spacious interior and various amenities such as beds, kitchen facilities, and bathroom amenities, an RV offers a sense of familiarity and stability during uncertain times. Furthermore, RVs provide unparalleled mobility and flexibility, allowing you to travel to remote locations and explore diverse landscapes while maintaining a comfortable living environment. The ability to boondock or camp off-grid enhances self-sufficiency and reduces reliance on external resources. However, despite its many advantages, there are also potential drawbacks to consider when relying on an RV for bugging out. One significant disadvantage is the reliance on fuel and infrastructure, which may become scarce or compromised during emergencies. Additionally, the size and weight of an RV can limit access to certain areas and make maneuvering through congested urban environments challenging. In conclusion, while an RV offers in parallel comfort and mobility, you need to assess your bug out plans to determine if it would be a suitable option. In certain scenarios, taking to the water can offer a strategic advantage for bugging out. Let's explore the advantages and potential drawbacks of using a canoe or boat. One of the primary advantages of utilizing a canoe or boat for bugging out is the ability to access remote locations and navigate waterways that may be impassable by land vehicles. With their shallow drafts and maneuverability, canoes and small boats offer means of travel that is not restricted by roads or terrain, allowing for swift and discreet movement. Also, canoes and small rowing or sailing boats provide a level of stealth and discretion that other modes of transport may lack. The quiet propulsion and low profile of watercraft allow for inconspicuous travel, reducing the risk of detection by potential threats and providing a tactical advantage in certain scenarios. However, despite their advantages, there are also potential drawbacks to consider when relying on canoes or boats for bugging out. One significant disadvantage is the vulnerability to adverse weather conditions and rough waters 
which can pose safety risks and require advanced navigational skills to navigate safely. In conclusion, while canoes and boats offer strategic advantages for bugging out if you live near canals, lakes, or rivers, it's essential to weigh the benefits against the potential risks and prepare accordingly for safe and successful water travel. It's not often considered as a bug out option, but in urban environments, public transport could be a practical option for bugging out in some scenarios. Let's explore its advantages and potential drawbacks. One of the primary advantages of utilizing public transport for bugging out is its widespread availability and accessibility in urban areas, in times when a crisis hasn't yet developed enough for services to be stopped. For example, public transport might be a useful option to bug out when flooding or extreme weather is predicted and you can leave for a safer area. With an extensive network of buses, trains, and subways, public transport offers a reliable means of evacuation that is not dependent on individual vehicles or road conditions. The affordability and inclusivity of public transport ensure that everyone has access to evacuation routes, regardless of their socioeconomic status. However, there are also drawbacks to consider when relying on public transport for bugging out, including the potential for overcrowding and delays, or cancellation of services during emergencies when demand for public transport may exceed capacity. In conclusion, public transport is worth considering in certain scenarios, but might quickly become unreliable as a disaster situation develops. As we conclude our exploration of bug out transportation options, it's clear that there is no one size fits all solution. Each mode of transport offers unique advantages and disadvantages, and the best choice depends on your specific circumstances, environment, and resources. Before selecting your bug out mode, consider factors such as your location, terrain, distance to your destination, and the type of emergency you may encounter. Conduct thorough research, practice with your chosen mode of transport, and have contingency plans in place to adapt to changing circumstances. Remember, the key to successful bug out transportation is not just the mode of transport itself, but also your knowledge, skills, and ability to adapt to changing circumstances. By staying informed, prepared, and proactive, you can increase your chances of safely navigating emergencies and reaching your bug out location. Thank you for joining us on this journey for bug out transportation options. We hope this video has provided valuable insights and empowered you to make informed decisions for your preparedness journey. Remember, stay safe, stay prepared, and stay resilient. Until next time, this is Prepper's Paradigm, signing off. Thank you.